Hey friends, welcome to Mandan Physio Academy. Today we are going to discuss the types of muscle work. If you have not watched a video on liver systems, I recommend that you go and first watch that video because in this video I am going to combine the concept of a liver and a muscle contraction to explain the types of muscle work in a better way. So let us start with the type of muscle work. So as we discussed in a previous video that bones in our body they form a liver arm, joints are working as a fulcrum and the weight that is the center of gravity of a particular segment and the effort which comes from the muscular contraction or I can say exactly from the point of insertion of the muscle that is termed as an effort or point of application of force. One thing that we need to understand before we start the topic that not a single lever in our body is functional unless we apply a force to it which means that to be functional a lever must be under a constant force so force can be external or internal external forces that may be gravity or a passive movement and the internal forces that is building up of the intramuscular tension that is the muscle work which is the internal force so that we are going to discuss so basically we are going to discuss the internal forces which are necessary to maintain the functional level of a body levers that is the muscle work so there are three sets of terminology which comes under the heading of types of muscle work so the first is the concentric eccentric and the static type of muscle work as you can see in the first diagram that I have shown the concentric type of muscle work in general the word concentric means that something is going towards the center that is the meaning of concentric so as you can see a uh, two arrows which I have mentioned so two arrows are going towards the center or I can say the middle portion of the muscle but whenever we are studying the muscle work we must remember that one end of the muscle is stabilized and another end is moving so that both ends in general they come in approximation with each other or I can say towards the center and the physiological cost of this concentric type of muscle work is high and this can be used to treat or I can say to build up the muscle tone in a patient second is the eccentric muscle work exactly opposite to concentric as you can see both the direction of the arrows they are going away from each other means away from the center of the muscle so eccentric muscle work actually we perform many activities in the eccentric muscle work in our daily living but eccentric muscle work against resistance it requires maximum concentration over that moment only and eccentric muscle work is the ideal choice for the re-education of the muscle in the early grades of the manual muscle testing and the last one is the static so static which means that partial or complete state of contraction of the muscle is known as the static type of muscle work second is and the most commonly used is isotonic type of muscle work isotonic includes shortening as well as the lengthening of the muscle work with building up of the intramuscular tension so as the intramuscular tension builds up it causes the isotonic type of contraction as you can see in this diagram that isotonic contraction with building up of the intramuscular tension there is shortening or a lengthening of a muscle can occur and second is the isometric so isometric means what it is equal measurement means that if you are holding an object right with the distal most extremity of your body that is the weight of your that particular object is maintained by a muscle without changing its length as well as there is not any appreciable change in the angle of the joint so that is considered as the isometric type of muscle work and in isometric type of muscle work there is not any appreciable change but as you can see that isometric is somewhat related with the static type of muscle work as economically isometric or the static type of muscle work it is more easy to perform but it causes the muscle fatiguing because of hindrance of the circulation inside the muscle and the last set 
of this type of muscle work that is the phasic as well as the tonic type of muscular work so these terminologies are not not frequently used nowadays but we need to understand that phasic means shortening and the tonic means a static so these type of terminologies are replaced by a newer terminologies that is isotonic and isometric that i have just explained but we must remember these two terminologies so as i ask two or three questions at the end of each video so here are the two questions so the first question is patient comes to you with a poor posture and you are supposed to teach him a good posture so which type of muscle work among these would you choose to teach him a good posture and a second thing is how many types of muscle work are you can relate in this examples which means that for example concentric muscle work is related with which another type of the muscle work do let me know in the comment sections and till then keep learning keep exploring do like share and subscribe my channel thank you so much